Good morning from Lago de Iseo. This week we are discovering the area of Milano and we decided to visit a lake which is not very popular and not very known. No. It's it, the Iseo Lake. It's very small and you have the big Italian lakes uh, that are very well known and Iseo is not one of them. So it's one hour drive approximately east from Milano. It was a lovely place where we stayed on a camping. Yes. And it was so close to nature, everything there. It was in the middle of the nature, of course, right next to the lake. And there were so many animals, uh, mainly ducks. And it was so funny because from the moment we opened the door of our camper in the morning, the ducks would just come walk to us and they would beg for breakfast <laughs> and they would join us for breakfast. Yeah, for the kids it was amazing because the ducks would just almost eat from your hand. They and ate from her hand. <laughs> and they were they were very, very close. And the kids even tried to get them into the camper by throwing little pieces of bread inside of the camper. <laughs> they were more cautious there. <laughs> they didn't dare to go inside. Yes, <laughs> Nick. Part of the camping place was a swimming pool and a playground and a big, big area around the lake. They call it the spiaggia, so the beach. So when we arrived, I expected it to be sand, but they had just grass and it was a little bit different than what I'm used to. But after a while, I fell in love with this kind of beach as well. And I think it was really a nice place that is not so crowded and not so touristic. We were by Isil and there we had some bread and there was a mom coming with um, eight baby dogs. And what happened next? They were um, swimming to our legs. The heart is a blue. Shoots up through the stony ground. There's no room. No space to win in this town. You're out of luck. And the reason that you had to care. Love 
Alexi, sollen wir ein Eis essen? Ja. We have visited one day an island in mm -hmm. the lake. The Monte, Monte Isola. Monte Isola. You, you can take your bikes and take the ferry, uh, which drops you to the island. playgrounds you can hike around or bike around Lunch or dinner. We had we stopped in in one beautiful restaurant directly oh, yeah. on the lake with a beautiful view, and also there the ducks came <laughs> to visit us as if they had followed us from the camping <laughs> to the little island. <laughs> and um, then you can just take the boat back. <laughs> The boat there is like a public transport, so you just stop on different little places and, and other sp uh, places of the island. And it's really beautiful and for me the most beautiful part was that at the end Alexander fell asleep on my arm <laughs> and I also fell asleep. <laughs> I took a little nap. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> we rented one day a pedal boat and went into, into the lake. And it was a pedal boat with a slide in the middle. <laughs> that was the best part of it. <laughs> the kids have chosen the pedal boat. <laughs> <laughs> so basically we just went in, uh, we pedaled for maybe five minutes and then we were sliding all the time <laughs> into the water. <laughs> Jag känner en båt, hon heter Anna, Anna heter hon Och hon kan banna, banna det så hårt Hon röjer upp i våra kanal Jag vill berätta för dig att jag känner en båt Jag känner en båt, hon heter Anna, Anna heter hon Och hon kan banna, banna det så hårt <laughs> so that was really nice. The kids loved yeah. that with the slide. And um, the rest we have spent a lot feeding the ducks and uh, swimming in the pool. <laughs>
if you're around uh, around Milano and would like uh, to visit one of its lakes, I think it's definitely a good alternative, the Lago di Iseo. Mm -hmm. It's For sure. less crowded and less touristic. Next week we are uh, staying around in Northern Italy and we will visit We're very much looking forward to it. Have a great week. And see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.